On the morning of May 24, 1985, a school teacher was driving along Highway 91 in Baker County, Georgia, when she noticed a woman laying in the ditch. She was a blonde, Caucasian female, standing at 5 foot 6 inches, possibly in her late 20s to early 30s. At the time, she was wearing a gray t-shirt, faded blue jeans, and white kid tennis shoes. When she was found, she was badly hurt and unconscious, yet was still alive. So she was rushed to the hospital in Albany, Georgia, where she remained in a coma for a week, with hopes that she would eventually regain her consciousness to tell what happened to her and possibly describe the person who did this to her, should that have been the case. Sadly, however, she would pass away due to the severity of her injuries on June 1st that same year. Her main injury, severe head trauma. Add that she has severe abrasions on her face and body as well. Investigators believe she was either a victim of a hit and run attack or possibly pushed from a moving car. After taking her fingerprints and DNA, they would end up burying her at Newton City Cemetery under the name Jane Doe. For during the time of her discovery, the lady had no ID on her whatsoever. And for the next 37 years, investigators did what they could to try and identify the woman now known as the Baker County Jane Doe. Several sketches were made of her and many people came forward wondering if she was a missing loved one, but they were to no avail. But in March of 2022, the GBI and FBI teamed up with a lab where updated DNA technology was used and they were able to track down one of the children for a comparison. When the comparisons matched, it was announced that on January 31st, 2023, the Baker County Jane Doe was identified as Mary Angie Cowan. Mary Cowan, who mostly went by the name Angie, according to some, was born on December 13, 1956. And it is said that at the time of her disappearance, she was a loving mother of four children, two daughters and two sons. You have to feel for those kids right there, you know, knowing after all this time, they never knew what happened to their mother until finally they get a call basically saying, you know, she was a 37-year-old Jane Doe who was still right there basically at the time and they never knew. Another sad part about this case is that in the end, they still don't know the cause of her death, you know, whether it was accidental or whether it was intentional. And after all this time, I doubt they ever will. But one thing is for certain, and it is a great silver lining that after all this time, after all the searching, after all the investigating, and after all the DNA, a family is finally able to tell their mother, rest in peace, 
for once again, another John and Jane Doe has finally been identified. This morning, a story you will only see on 11 Alive, a 37-year-old mystery of a Jane Doe in a small Georgia town is solved. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn takes us inside the lab, solving those unsolvable cases as a grateful family can finally say goodbye. On May 24th, 1985, a woman was found in a ditch in Newton. That's a small town in Baker County in South Georgia. She was barely alive, no identification, only known as Jane Doe. She died eight days later on June 1st. In 2012, her body was exhumed and a sample of her bone fragment was collected for DNA. It was sent off, but no luck. Then last year in March, they tried again with a lab in Texas using cutting edge DNA testing. In October, a DNA profile was developed and three weeks ago, Jane Doe was finally identified and her children got a call none of them ever expected. There was 37 years of hope that uh, just met, uh, you know, three weeks of uh, reality. Daniel Cohen was just seven years old when his mom vanished in 1985 in Central Florida. We never heard from mom again. As the years passed. There's not a lot of hope, but I guess I'd always hoped that she would, you know, come waltzing back into my life. Three decades after their mom disappeared, her kids' worlds would be turned upside down. She said, um, Dan, I, we think we found mom. A call they'd been waiting on for 37 years, just not how they'd hoped it would turn out. And he said, well, there was a Jane Doe in, in Georgia in 1985 that turned up in May, and I'm pretty sure it's mom. Their mom had been right here the whole time. She missed so much of life. On January 31st, the GBI identified Jane Doe as Mary Cohen. She was just 28 years old. And it was inside this Texas lab, Othram scientists did what no one else could since 1985. We can work with evidence that others have considered unusable. We pull hundreds of thousands of markers. So we're getting information from previously inaccessible evidence. It's a remarkable case. Remarkable on multiple levels, from everyone who worked the case to those who watched over a woman, only known as Jane Doe. You know, she, she had people that cared for her. They, uh, they cared enough that uh, 37 years later, they were still looking, you know. I had given up. As for what happened to Miss Cohen, it's believed she fell off of a semi truck where she was catching a ride. Back then, it wasn't unheard of to hitchhike. Her manner of death was ruled undetermined, and the case is expected to be closed soon. Ring around the rosy, this evil thing it knows me, lost ghosts.